So we've got Graeme, so you work for Network Rail, do you? That's absolutely right. I'm a project manager for the Liverpool Land Sea Remodelling Scheme. I've, I've actually been on this project since about 2012, right. so really since day one. Yeah. So from Lime Street, we have completely remodelled the whole station. Yep. So we've we've affected every single platform. We've either lengthened it, we've yep. widened it. Sometimes we've taken the ends off it, we've put new fencing up, we've resurfaced it. We've laid new track throughout the whole of the station area, the new red line system. Everything is fundamentally changed. It's brilliant. a modern station. Wow, brilliant. Here we are, Liverpool Lime Street signal box. This is Gary, he's the local operations manager, is that right? And this is your home, is it? It used to be. It used to be, yeah. The uh, Lime Street signal box closed at uh, 1200 hours on the uh, Friday the 13th of July. And see the last signal train, 24664, and it's way out to uh, Wigan. And uh, Bernard McComsky, the signaller, yeah. um, sending the last one away, yeah. So, some of the signals have been here, you know, 20, 25 years. Um, it was a big, you know, obviously, big move. You yeah. know. The important station uh, it plays a massive role in sort of the, the transport connections here for Liverpool and this sort of area. So to bring Liverpool last year up to the modern era is key. Absolutely. I mean, we're forecasting around 40,000 um, passengers in the morning peak which is a tremendous increase from, from where it is today. That's why we've put two new platforms in here, yeah. we've lengthened the platforms. Um, the idea is we're going to get more trains into the Lime Street. We're going to have an additional three trains per hour fairly soon, but there's capacity there for additional services in the future. Well, this building's been here for many, many years. 1948. 1948. Yeah, 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 you know, it was a sad day, really. Um, a lot of history. You know, our young lads are now his fathers and that work this box as well, because you do find that with the signals, you know, it's a big family thing. So this signal box, as far as I'm aware, it's unique because I think it was the only one left on the network that had the, what sort of frame is this called? Well, it's the miniature lever frame. Um, there's actually two, two left. Right. This, this was one of two. Um, Maidstone down in Kent, I believe, is the uh, the other one. They're going to be coming up and taking some parts from, from this one as spares. Well, that's because, cool. uh, Hopefully some of it will do, or yeah. some of it will end up in the museum for people to uh, to see. Hey, so the signalling then from Lime Street, like Blackpool, it's going to the rock. Yeah, it's all been you know remote, all re-signalled around here now, so it's going to be controlled all from um, the rail operating centre up at uh, Ashby's Manchester. So there'll be a desk allocated now. Liverpool workstation, yeah, for, for um, and some of the signals have gone up there to work as right. well, which is you know which is good. You've married the modernisation up with the building itself obviously the building very precious and very pretty building um, and I can see how you've done that together in junction so you've preserved the sort of the heritage side of things with the modernization which is which is probably key to what your whole project was about absolutely I mean Lime Street's a grade 2 listed station and we certainly wouldn't be allowed to um, produce something that didn't wasn't in keeping with the heritage of the station so everything from the, the brickwork on the riser walls the platform surfacing it's all designed to be as in keeping as possible with the original fabric of the station. What's going to happen with the building itself? I believe the, the building itself is a listed building, good. so it won't be getting demolished, it's part of the Liverpool Lime Street sort of heritage and that way you know it's going to be staying here. I've heard all sorts of stories that it's going to be you know, a cafe, it's going to be just used as storage, um, sort of a, a, a spectator gallery for looking at the trains, different things. Um, and you know, over the next sort of months and years, I'm sure, I'm sure we'll see some use of it. Right. So amongst all the people who have come along here to Liverpool Live Street, I found this chap, John. And the reason why I've pulled him out from the crowd is because he was involved in the Blackpool North upgrade. You have some ties there, don't you, John, with Blackpool North? Uh, my history was, yeah, before I moved to Liverpool, uh, I was part of the maintenance teams that maintained the Blackpool line. Uh, so I did all the, all the mechanical boxes and uh, the point signals along that route. In Kirkham. Uh, well, I worked out at Preston, but yeah, we went to Kirkham, Portland, Solwick, uh, Colton, and Blackpool number two. I also caught the very end of Blackpool number one box before that was demolished. Blackpool number one, it was at the foot of where I grew up as a child. Yeah, just by the uh, road over bridge. That's it. Well, my favourite box, Solwick, because it was the one on its own doing a very important job. Did you have a particular favourite box? It is between Solwick and Pulton, uh, yeah. were my favourite. Solwick just because, uh, as you say, the fact it was the 
interface with the modern system, going from the NX panels at Preston to convert it into the mechanical system. Yeah. I miss the mechanical, yeah. The, yeah. For, uh, being signaling myself, that's yeah. my background. Uh, with mechanical, you get to see it, and you actually see what you're maintaining, what you're fixing. So yeah. when you go, right, you see it move, that's what I fix. Yeah. But the more modern system, you don't necessarily see that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so it's not fully there. The romance with the railway so much isn't there with the modern day system, but you can fully understand why it's being replaced. It, it, the, the Blackpool section, whilst out, no matter how much we loved it, it was a costly exercise. Yeah. And nowadays, the more modern system is bringing the railway into the uh, modern world, so to speak. Oh, you've got, you got Pendolino going into Blackpool. Never have happened with mechanical signaling. No, and, no. You know, so for the, the, the connections that it brings, you can't fault it. We're in the 21st century, we've got faster trains capable of running. Why prevent a place like Blackpool from having such services? Mm. Well, the, the Blackpool section, I believe, is now sort of mainline standard. May not be mainline speed, but the signaling everything that's been put yeah. in place has become mainline standard, hasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's basically similar to the West Coast mainline in yeah. itself. It's just obviously the route can't cope with 125 miles per hour. There's too many curves, too many... The, the lie of the land doesn't allow you to run 125, but for all reasons with regards to the infrastructure, yeah, it is fully mainline, and you can have your pendulum and everything down, your more modern services.